welcome back to uh, another toy video. Uh, today I thought we'd do things a little bit differently. I'm going to start doing a, I'm to get myself in a good position here, kind of like a monthly haul video. So all the stuff that I picked up uh, during the month, so this is going to be kind of like January's. So I've tried my best to sort of pick up things that uh, I sort of picked up during that month um, and a few bits. This one um, I actually picked up, where did I say it? Must have been end of last year, but I haven't yet looked at it. So this is the Transformers War for Cybertron Quintesson Pit of Judgment. Uh, so I really do need to take a look at this and do a review of this soon. Uh, it's really awesome. And, um, you know, it's a really, it was at the time a really hard set to get hold of. It's got that kind of Quintesson Judge, kind of different paint deco. I think the Quintesson is different as well, and um, a different deck on the Shark Khan in here. And then you get these two exclusive bits here, which are um, like this kind of guy with all the tentacles. I forget what what he's what he's called, and uh, Kranix there as well. So you get all of those bits in there. Um, looks like a good set. Um, and then another kind of cheap one as well is um, this Megatron Super Megatron. Now, um, I did have this guy beforehand, I ordered him, but I've only just kind of recently opened this guy up um, and had to play around with him. The reason for that is I picked up the Transformer Magna um, volumes, the kind of Japanese cartoon stuff, uh, comic stuff, sorry, fairly recently. I think it's Christmas present, actually. And uh, what I decided to do with that is I was reading it and of course this guy's featured in it. So I was reading it and all the stuff about him, Super Megatron, Super Ultra Megatron. And there's loads of stuff on here. So I'm going to be doing a review of this guy fairly soon as well. Um, so I just move this out of the way here so you can see some of the other bits and pieces. So um, other bits, right. So I've got a bunch of these uh, bot bots. Now, I found this at retail. These, I've got picked up a, a whole bunch of these. These are from Series 5. Now, they've got all, they've got codes on the back of them. So this one says 12, um, the other one says 10. So I made sure I didn't pick up any duplicates. There's little codes on the back here. Now, these were in Tesco's uh, and they've been reduced down. So there's something like, um, really weird amount something like one pound 14 um really odd so they were like three pounds at retail originally so i picked up a whole bunch of them so i've got five of these so i'll probably do a video on these as well um some a load of them were like damaged and squished in um so i managed to pick the ones that the bubbles weren't were in pretty decent shape um other bits um battle beasts so I picked up some of these the other day. Again, kind of linked in with the uh, manga comic stuff. These Battle Beasts are kind of featured in them a little bit. Um, and I picked up these from Leicester Vintage Toy Shop. They had a, a, a post on there about some. So I picked up a whole bunch of these. And I've currently actually got them on display with my Beast Wars. So I'll show you the ones I've got. So I've got this um, horsey dude. I don't know the names of them. This one here as well. None of them don't. None of them appear to have the kind of like rub sign or anything at the moment. I've got this giraffe one, so I remember having this uh, this particular one. So I definitely remember that one. Um, this kind of rhino one, which is quite cool. It's got like a kind of like a mace thing as a hand. All of them, the articulation, the hands move up and down around uh, no nothing on the head or the legs but they stand up quite nice got good paint deco and then this gorilla kind of one here the little ears sticking out it's cool as well and last one it's kind of freaky looking one a bit a bit scary here so i'm probably going to be on the lookout for for more of those as and when they pop up um but yes they're a cool little line really um enjoy taking a look at those and having them on display um, I got a couple of these ones, these little blind bag ones. And I got them as part of a birthday present, really. Um, I've got this kind of drift one, and this one's Ratchet. Um, 
they're okay, but there isn't a lot of paint or anything on them. Um, this one's got kind of paint on the wheels and stuff, but nothing on the windshield. And this one's just kind of this kind of yellow blob with the red red um, around the uh, grill there. So yeah, not a great deal of paint on them. Uh, next up, we've got some mask bits. Um, this might have been one of from one of the Facebook groups. Now I do have this bike with the windshield up in the loft. So I didn't have um, Brad here with his mask. So it was mainly to get that and then I'll probably sell the bike um, or keep it as a spare, well, you know, until something else turns up. So I've got that. Um, some bits that turned up today. So from In Demand Toys, I've got uh, a little something. And it is kind of linked in with the mask as well, actually. So let's take a look at this. Just chuck the box down here. You see that? Um, it is a Transformers War for Cybertron Galactic Odyssey Collection. Now these are little micro masses which are kind of based off um, figures, vehicles from Mask. So I'll open it up and just take a quick look and show you. I'll probably do a uh, review on the channel at some point just to show you them. So just open it up. Ooh. All kind of come out there. So there you go, you've got them all in a set there, so six of them. Um, yeah, and it comes up, it's got this little map at the top here as well, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, so this one is supposed to be Hurricane, so he's based off the Hurricane vehicle. Um, I'm trying to see what all the different ones are. Is it that one, is it that one called Stinger or something like that? Oh, I'm not sure which is yellow, these yellow ones are. I can't remember which vehicles they are. Let's see if they actually say the names of them. It might be that they say the names of the actual vehicles. And that will give me a bit of a reminder. Ah, I think the... Oh, I'm not sure about the yellow tank. Do they say the names on here? Sting Racer is the orange one that I pointed out. Motorhead. Uh, is that one of the kind of drag races that are in it as well? So Motorhead, Windstorm, which is the hurricane one which I think is out. Roadburner and Fireguard. Now, I'm not sure about Roadburner and Fireguard, which ones they're supposed to be. It doesn't say um, if they're Autobot or Decepticon, I guess that depends on who you kind of pair them up with. So I'll do a review, I'll do a bit of um, stuff on who they're supposed to come with. It does come with this card in here as well. Um, doo -doo -doo. So I won't read all that out, but it gives you a bit of information about, um, about the microns and stuff like that. So that's quite cool. So I'll be doing a review of those. And then lastly, I ordered um, a few bits from a website called All The Cool Stuff. Now they've got a store over at uh, Fording Bridge. And um, I've had a fair bit of dealing with them before. Dealing with them, sorry. Um, to do with uh, Dave Tree, who's the owner. He runs a convention um, called uh, Roll Out Roll Call. And that's probably the first proper convention that I've been to. And that's over at, it was the first one was over at Southampton in the Turian Hotel, something like that. And it was brilliant. What I loved about it, and it's um, all in like a few different rooms. And they had, you know, dealers in each room and stuff that you could rummage around. And they did talks and things like this on, they had different people from the toy industry um, talking about the design process and different things like that. Really, really interesting. Uh, and just like a really informal, um, fun setting to go, a nice place to go and meet people. Anyway, um, he's kind of updated his website, which is really good because it's, uh, I think it's a big improvement on what they've got before. But they've got um, a load of uh, Master of the Universe stuff, so Wave 3, stuff that I don't have. 
and it was brilliant and um, so I went on there and um, ordered a few bits and pieces and it's just arrived today which is you know real quick turnaround and I just opened it up and he's put a, a nice little note on there so he just said uh, thank you Tim hope you're all um, faring okay over the uh, last uh, few months uh, it's been a real headache for sure uh, keep everything and uh, hope to see you all soon Dave I thought that was a really nice little note in there so he's a really nice guy um, him his partner um, there's some of the stuff uh, Chloe she does uh, this active sportswear range called Chloe Active, and she has all of her stuff on there for on there as well. I've ordered stuff for my wife as well in terms of like running and cycling gear and stuff like that. So he's put in a few extra bits and pieces, which is really cool. So he's put in this kind of Star Wars card thing, um, which is quite cool. He's got that, and then I thought I thought that was just it, but underneath all the packaging, got a few other bits and pieces as well. So we've got this um, this little Ninjago character thing. We've got a Batman Superman key ring. Um, we've got this Maze Runner um, stickers. So it's got loads of stuff in here. Ah, Fantastic Four as well. Um, so that's a phone phone wallet with a stand okay oh that'd be um quite handy so that's good um and then there's even more so there's this uh deadpool 3d magnet there's <laughs> it's loads of stuff in here honestly um planet of the apes um decal stickers so he's really outdone himself we've got uh, a pen in here as well and it's like there's so many little things in here I kind of like forgot what I was kind of rummaging around for um, and then we go in here and we've got the actual figures and um, for collectors you know they the cards are absolutely mint uh, really well done and it, we've got um, Zodak here who looks absolutely fantastic and uh, pictures on the back there as well so I'll be doing a review of that Zodak um, we got uh, Roboto, again cards in really great condition and um, the only thing is with the um, with the, some of the accessories I found what Mattel have been doing is they've kind of jammed them in there and you see his like sword thing is a little bit kind of bent out of shape a little bit um, but he's got all the clear working parts inside there um, really nice and on the back that shows you kind of how everything works and you get a really cool um, picture at the top there and it does come with another comic as well which is great um, and then we've got uh, Mirror Man again uh, the packaging left is in great condition uh, I'll be doing a review of Wave 3 figures Unfortunately, the only one he didn't have was She-Ra, so um, uh, I'll have to do a bit of searching around for that one, see if I can pick up that one. But uh, that's it. Uh, that's all the stuff I've got. Um, like I said, I'm going to do make these kind of like a bit of a regular thing and perhaps kind of stack up stuff ready and, and do a, a bit of a, a review and do it that way, all the stuff that I've got. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Stay safe, guys. Bye-bye.